In this video, we're gonna take a look at the SwitchPod, which is a super easy to use portable tripod that's great for vloggers and content creators because it's so small when you're not using it and it's really easy to quickly unfold it. The SwitchPod is made of aluminum and it's got this really great grip built into it. So it's perfect for using in vlogging mode so that you can hold the camera far away from you. I really like how they designed this screw on the bottom of it too so that you can attach it to your camera. It comes with a quarter 20 screw so it can thread directly on any camera or piece of equipment you might wanna use. Or you can also put a 3 8 adapter on the bottom of it too so that you can make it work with more tripod heads and ball heads and other accessories like that. You also need to note that this does not come with a ball head. So you either need to buy the SwitchPod ball head separately or you can buy one from Joby or you can use a Manfrotto one or really any brand you want depending on the quick release system that you're into. I personally use the RC2 quick release system for everything, so I put a Manfrotto RC2 quick release ball head on top of mine. One of the best things about the SwitchPod is that the legs don't move, so once you use it, you don't have to worry about it collapsing underneath the weight of your camera like you would with a GorillaPod. One thing I did notice is you really need to point the lens towards one of the legs of the SwitchPod. Otherwise, if you're using it, then you'll have a hard time with it tipping over. Additionally, if you're using a ball head, you do need to be kind of careful because I was having some issues with the ball head causing the whole thing to want to counterbalance and tip over. So you need to make sure that your setup's not crazy heavy if you're using it with the ball head and trying to point downwards for a shot. I really like the knob on the switch pod. It's just so easy to tighten it or loosen it, especially if you need to adjust the way your camera's pointing, you can just loosen it repoint the camera and then tighten it back down. Also, they give you two different spots where you can grip on the tripod. You can either grip it down here and hold it out farther, or you can kind of choke up on the grip a little bit if the setup's getting kind of heavy, or if you just need to change filming positions for a little bit. They also give you these accessory holes on the side that allow you to put quarter 20 accessories like lights or recorders or microphones and mount them directly to the switch pod. So that's really cool too. Another smart feature is that there's rubber feet on the bottom to help it stay in place a little bit better and to keep it from scratching up the surface. They designed the switch pod where you can unfold it really quickly just by flicking your wrist and the legs come out really easy on it. There's magnets that are supposed to hold them together. I do find that the magnets feel like they could be a little bit stronger. There's magnets to keep it unfolded and also magnets to keep it folded up. And it feels like the legs are just a little bit loose on it, so I wish they would have used stronger magnets in building the switch pod. But they were probably just trying to make it really easy to deploy. Another issue with the switch pod is the height of it when it's unfolded feels a little bit low for self-filming, unless you put a ball head on it. And then if you have a ball head on it, it raises it to just about the perfect height if you can raise it up on a desk or a shelf or a surface and adjust your own height to an appropriate level. You can get really good quick shots with this. Another issue I've had is sometimes when you pick it up with a camera on it, the legs wanna fold in a little bit. So you just need to be careful that you don't pick it up and then not have your legs all extended on it where it can sit flat on your tabletop or surface. But to tie it all together, it feels really durable. The aluminum's super strong. It takes up hardly any space at all once it's folded up. So it's a great item to stash in your backpack, especially if you can leave the ball head off, you're gonna save even more space. But the ball head just opens up so many different options for leveling it out on an uneven surface, or you can just change the way the camera's pointed when you're using this in vlogging mode. So I highly recommend picking up a ball head to go with this too. I have links for the SwitchPod and all the other products in this video in the description below, so be sure to check those out so that you can find what would work well for your setup. So for $100 and to have all this portability, it's really not a bad price. The SwitchPod is durable, it's made from aluminum, it's gonna last a long time, and you'll come up with a ton of different ways to use it creatively for your video shoots and vlogs. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about the SwitchPod, leave a comment down below. Also, if you want to buy the SwitchPod, I have affiliate links in the description below. And if you make a purchase, it really helps support the channel. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming tech content.